Come on. Let's talk about sex then. about our sex life and <laughs> I'm quite frankly just not mature enough to do it without laughing but I will tell you reveal the one thing that saved our marriage and it had to do a little bit with our sex life which I can't even say without smiling <laughs> and it has nothing to do with Fifty Shades of Grey although it does look a little bit like torture. Nobody gets tied up with this, okay? Because it is my husband's snore mask, as we like to call it. He sleeps with this every night because he snores. So he, we say good night, good night, and he puts it on. Okay, and how that saved our marriage and amped up our sex life is because we sleep in the same bed. And for a little while it looked like we weren't going to ever be able to again because as we got older, his snoring got a lot worse and it just wasn't pretty and we needed sleep. So we were sleeping in separate bedrooms. And here's the thing about getting older, about being a parent, about having a busy life and about being more tired all the time. If you're not hanging out with each other, you're probably not going to have sex <laughs> and you're going to become these two distant people living these separate lives and it's just not good for any marriage. So when he got this little tool of torture, <laughs> he um, ended up sleeping in bed. And even if it's just being together at the end of the day, it's just nice to have that intimacy. And so that might lead to something some nights. And some nights it's just a, it's just a <laughs> sleeping next to each other. But we're together and sometimes racing around with four kids and careers and lives. It just doesn't happen. Just start sleeping together because I promise you, you'll have more sex and you'll just be happier. That's what I really believe. You'll be like more intimate, more connected. And it's just all good. I don't even know if I'm allowed to talk about sex. I mean, I'm a mom. Am I allowed to have sex and be sexy? I don't know. It's kind of weird. Oh.